Hi, welcome to a special edition of EE e. Times TV. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief of EE e. Times, and with me here today is Richard Gehring, EE e. Times Software Editor. And um, we're going to give you a special presentation of what uh, could be one of the most significant mergers in the EDA history in years. Tell us a little bit about it, Richard. Yeah, well, basically, uh, Mentor Graphics is announcing its acquisition of Sierra Design Automation, which is a provider of uh, IC uh, placement and routing tools. And what this does is that it gives Mentor Graphics a, a complete uh, netlist to a GDS2 uh, IC implementation tool set. It puts Mentor into more direct competition with uh, Cadence, Synopsys, and Magma. It fills a big hole in Mentor's product line and essentially turns them into a broad line EDA vendor. With the exception of RTL Synthesis, they, they pretty much have a, uh, a, a full line of products for IC design. We don't come into markets where we are yet another supplier who can do what the others are doing. Mm -hmm. We come into markets where we can do something they're not doing. Mm -hmm. And we look at it as to whether it's a sustainable difference. Mm -hmm. That is, some would argue that in the uh, late 1990s, timing closure driven place and route mm -hmm. became a new segment. Mm -hmm. uh, and to some extent, I think that's true. And it allowed uh, a new major entrant. And there were quite a few actually who attempted. And uh, uh, over time, others have been able to get better and better capabilities. So while it provided some barriers, mm -hmm. uh, they were not total barriers. And we don't today say, well, there is timing driven place and route, and then there is other place and route. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the DFM case is one where it's clearly sustainable for the long term. So the answer will be from day one, uh, manufacturing variability driven place and route, we will be number one. Mm -hmm. And we will be able to do things that cannot be done by any other supplier. So one of the things Ryan's points out in the interview is that every couple of years in the development of process technologies in the semiconductor industry, there is a potential for a fundamental disruption. And that's what he's trying to take advantage of with this merger. Think back to what happened in the mid-1990s. Uh, that was a case where uh, Dracula had dominated the market for over 15 years. It was the tool of choice throughout the industry for design rule checking and logic verification. Uh, at one time in our history, Mentor even OEM'd that uh, product. Ultimately, uh, it was acquired by Cadence. And it continued to stretch its capabilities as designs became more and more complex, and they grew and they grew and it did all its processing flat. And we finally got to a point in the mid-1990s where leading edge designs could no longer be verified flat and hierarchy was needed. The problem, as is always the case with the leaders in a particular segment of the market, is all of your best developers are busy stretching the tool to make it solve the leading edge problem and you just don't have time to start all over, create a whole new architecture, and use a whole new technology. So that transition was not made with Dracula, although there were attempts. And what happened was hierarchy was introduced, and new tools came to market and had the opportunity to compete in a space which was large by EDA standards. And ultimately, Caliber, over the next 10 years, grew to be a $200 million plus business for Mentor and grew to be a de facto standard at that technology discontinuity. Rhines has had a strategy uh, when it comes to building out Mentor Graphics um, in which he'll exploit a number one position or a close number two position. This kind of breaks with that model, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does because, um, you know, Sierra Design is an up and coming. Uh, provider that's had some initial success with its, uh, its IC implementation products, but it's still a distant number four today in terms of market share. So, so what Mentor is betting on is that there's going to be enough of a discontinuity in the 65-45 nanometer uh, IC routing market that Sierra will somehow leapfrog everybody else and, and take a number one position. And it's, it's kind of a, a, a risky gamble in that sense. but. Um, Mentor believes very strongly that this discontinuity will take place and that Sierra will become number one in what they call manufacturing variation or where place and route. For us it'll be a new category. Of course how the market measures it uh, doesn't matter so much as the fact that 
we're uh, competing against future entrants rather than existing players. Well, don't you think that, that Synopsis Cadence and Magma will have Absolutely. some of the same capabilities? That so, so that, of course, is one of the primary things we looked at throughout uh, the evaluation, because we're not interested if this so simply gives us an early lead in uh, design for uh, manufacturing variability, we're interested in something that is a sustainable uh, advantage and leadership in a specific segment. So you go back to why, and I'll have Pravin comment in even more detail, but fundamentally, how do you structure the whole philosophy and architecture and data model for place and route in order to handle the multi-corner, multi-mode problem that exists if you want to design for manufacturability at 45 nanometers and beyond. It's a fundamentally different data structure and different approach to database management. So competitors will undoubtedly at some point view this as an attractive market given the way uh, it will be growing uh, under the Mentor Sierra merger. Uh, but they will have to go back and create essentially totally new architectures, we believe, to handle the problem. We do not believe this is something you can add on to an existing place and route solution. Uh, one of the questions you asked him uh, that we'll listen to right now is um, the donut hole issue as it surrounds right, Mentor Graphics right. and has for a few years. Tell us what the donut hole issue is. Right. Well, the way this came up is that uh, Mentor Graphics has provided a lot of tools for IC design, but there's a, a big gap right in the middle, which is IC implementation, which is synthesis, place, and route. Mentor has provided the uh, functional verification tools that you would use before you go into IC implementation, and they have provided the physical verification tools that you would use right afterwards, but they're missing that big chunk in the middle that has historically been at the very core of the EDA marketplace. And now with the Sierra acquisition, they are for the most part filling that hole. Right now, as we perceive it, uh, RTL synthesis has become very standardized, available from multiple vendors, uh, totally adequate for the needs of our flow, and therefore, once again, we don't do what others do perfectly well, we do what others can't do. But doesn't RTL synthesis need to be integrated with the back end? Well, isn't, isn't there going to be an argument from those who provide it that you've got to get it all from the same vendor? So, you know, that argument has been made for the last four years. Yeah. But the reality is the way the designers think, RTL designers think, always think differently from the place and route designers. Mm -hmm. And there is always a very standardized netlist handoff. Mm -hmm. Today, in spite of people mentioning about it, there is a clear-cut handoff from RTL to netlist. Mm -hmm. and the process issues are only affecting right now at the place and route level. Mm -hmm. People are not changing RTL to manage the process route issues as of now. Mm -hmm. Right. In future that may happen as we go to the lower geometries. Mm -hmm. But as of now there is no requirement for that. So we don't believe that you know you need to have to have uh, RTL uh, this thing. And then we ask a year from now at the 2008 DAC, what does he think some of his success metrics will be uh, relating to this merger? Next year, Dag, the success metric would be people would be talking about what Wally just said, manufacturing-driven place and route system. We would be talking about a new category, the way the timing closure came, physical synthesis came, you would have a manufacturing-driven place and route system. Thanks for tuning in to this special edition of EE Times TV on the merger between Mentor Graphics and Sierra Design. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief of EE Times with Richard Gehring, EE Times Software Editor. See complete coverage of this merger at eetimes.com. Thanks for watching.